It is a very challenging time for everyone on the planet right now. People are bored, people are scared, people are tired of each other. And with everything being online and everybody have to stay at home, I've noticed that more and more people start talking about how they wish that they could do something physical, how they wish that they could touch something that they're doing how all of this kind of brings them back to the old times where they want to interact with things, real things, touch it and be able to feel it. And so this is a really good exercise to help you relax, calm, reflect some of your feelings and create something beautiful. I call this exercise Zen Stones. Best media to use for this exercise are watercolors, inks, and pens. If you don't have those at your disposal, gouache is also a good one, or watercolor pencils. You can follow along as I draw, or you can do it afterwards. It is entirely up to you. But I do think that it is more inspiring when two people draw together. So if you can, draw along with me. So before we start, Let's take some deep breaths. Deep breath in and out. In and out. Let yourself breathe for a minute. Close your eyes. Focus on what you're feeling. Listen to music and ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? What do I want right now? What do I miss? What do I wish I can do? How am I feeling? After that, take a brush and pick a color, whatever color you feel like. It can be your favorite color or you can associate this color with your mood. And let's start painting. So we're just gonna draw a circle and then draw another one. And then let's pick another color and add them in. You can choose and mix as many colors as you want to. It is all up to you. Another fun trick you can try is Take a simple thread, uh, it doesn't matter what kind or how long it is, really doesn't matter. And this is just a trick, you don't really have to do this, this is just something I was experimenting with. Once you draw your circle, put a thread on that circle and add some color. This will just give it a little bit more shapes and lines. And again, it is very optional, so if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. And I just keep drawing the circles, adding the colors to them, mixing them. Uh, I use tissues to make them a little bit more light. But again, it is up to you. If you want to keep them darker, go ahead. There is no expectations here. There is no judgment here. This is all about you. How do you feel right now? What does this say to you?
And now that you're happy with your circles, let them dry. Once they do, we're gonna move on to inks. Now grab an ink pen or pigment or colorful pen. Again, it is up to you and what you have at your disposal. And we are going to start doodling. Just let your hand lead you. Again, there is no judgment or goal here. The only thing we're doing is following your feeling, following your heart and your hand. Let yourself experiment and play around. If this one doesn't turn out the way you want to, you can always try again. All right, great job. You can try and do different patterns and we are going to do a couple more of these in the future videos if you want to because I think this is a very relaxing exercise. I myself enjoy drawing those Zen stones very much. It is very freeing that it is abstract and there is no expectations. And you should keep that in mind too. There is no judgment. And every single art exercise we will be doing in this course has no judgment or goal in it. The only goal we have is to focus on how you're feeling and help you feel better. I know not everyone have gouache or watercolor at their disposal and especially now that it is quarantine and even though I do recommend you to getting watercolors for a lot of future exercises we're gonna have and even for inner artist course that you have here too um, I know that a lot of services still deliver and there is a way to get those things but if you really don't have access to it or just don't want to spend money on it, there is an alternative that we can do and I'm about to show you that. 